What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys, we got a brand new update and this brings in the trick or treat event. This is going to be an event that will reward you with different camos, a brand new free operator skin and a whole lot of other rewards. So for those of you guys who've been looking forward to this blood red riding hood operator skin, today I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to unlock her with this early event showcasing. If you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on Call of Duty news or updates. And also a reminder, I did post a video yesterday. We went over the black Op 6 mastery camo grind so it got early gameplay showcasing of all the camos as well as how you're going to be able to unlock them because the system is a little bit different than what we see with mw2 and mw3 but anyways as gamers we spend countless hours on the internet and online with friends but what you don't know is that if you aren't using a vpn you are far more likely to be a victim of data breaches privacy leaks as well as being hacked and i partnered with my favorite vpn surfshark to make sure that that doesn't happen to you surfshark is one of the best vpns that can help encrypt your online privacy to safeguard your data as well as internet activity. This will block ads, malwares, as well as hackers from getting access to your account. The best part is, is one Surfshark account can connect to unlimited devices so you can protect your entire household without having to worry. You can also connect to over 3,200 servers in 100 different countries, which means that any website that's blocked where you live can be accessed with the Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is also running a massive promotion by using the code TRIDZO. You can get yourself an extra four months for free by using my link down in the description. Give it a try for yourself. And if you don't like it, they offer a 30 day money back worry free guarantee. A huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. This upcoming Wednesday, we have a brand new event called the Trick or Treat event. It starts at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is on October 2nd. It will be replacing the Walking Dead event. So if you have not completed that yet, be sure to get it done before this event goes live because those rewards are permanently going to go away. The very first thing that will come in with this event is going to be the brand new Sam Trick or Treat Operator skin. By equipping him, you'll actually get a bonus to help you complete the event even faster. But here's a showcasing of what the Operator Bundle will look like. You first start off with the Sam Operator operator bundle the whole thing is going to cost you 2400 cod points this is what the base operator skin will look like alongside that you get a second operator skin variant and this one is called the sam unmasked which is him without the mask on it looks pretty crazy it looks like et also credit to austin six for the gameplay footage this bundle is set to arrive on the day of this update going live so the store update will update the same exact time and then you get three different weapon blueprints that are included the very first one comes in for the superi 46 called the sweet tooth this will come in with the Trick or Treat Tracers and the Gord's Guts Dismemberment. And this is what it looks like in the FX Preview tab, as well as what the Weapon Blueprint itself looks like in like a little 360 showcasing. Then the second Weapon Blueprint that you unlock is for the Raw MG called the Season's Greeting. It has the same exact tracers as well as Death Effect, and that's what it looks like in the FX Preview. And then the last Weapon Blueprint, this one is called the Sam's Lollipop, and this one comes in with the Gutter Knife. And as usual with melee weapons, they only have a Death Effect, and that's that's what it looks like. And then he also comes in, unlike the Art the Clown, he actually gets his own brand new finishing move. And this is an early showcasing of what the finishing move looks like. He uses the Sam's Lollipop to eliminate players like that. And as usual with every single finishing move, there's a three variety. So you got the standing, the prone, as well as the knock. And then the rest of the bundle will consist of like a decal as well as a weapon charm and a loading screen. So this bundle is expected the day of that update. And then when the update actually goes live, this is a showcasing at what the event is. So this is not one of those like XP based events or even challenge based events. It's one of those collect candy event type of things. So we've seen that with the DNA strand one before, but it says right here, trick or treat, trick or treat hunt, collect candy in game to unlock rewards, including some tricks and treats Wear the Sam operator skin or Sam unmasked operator skin to earn more candy per match, fill up the king size bar, for the ultimate tree and it does look like it's going to be available across warzone and zombies these types of events are usually available for all platforms so you don't have to worry about that anyways depending on the type of candy you collect you will unlock different types of rewards so the first category it says coming soon this is the blood red riding hood operator skin for banshee which i'll go ahead and showcase talk about in just a second and then the next category after that but this one this one says king size tree so this one's not going to be available right away meaning that you're going to probably have to wait a little bit until these candies unlock and then you'll be able to grind those out and get the operator skin because they're not going to make the operator skin the very first one for you to get but following that these are going to be available first 
you can see a number one on the bottom right behind the little pumpkin face. And then it says double battle pass XP token, one of five coming soon. Usually when they say coming soon, that means that they're going to be updating. But because maybe he leaked the event a little bit earlier, they're going to be available right away. But I'm guessing this event is going to last probably a couple weeks long. And as the weeks progress, a new candy will unlock and you'll be able to get even more. But the first one was that double battle pass XP token. The next one, it says follow the rules or die. And it looked like some sort of like a emblem or something like that. And then the next one, it says trick or tree, trick or tree. And it doesn't really show the rewards. You can see a couple of things. For example, decals, stickers, weapon charms, like the jack-o'-lantern one. One says give me candy. And then there's like the Halloween spoils. But the majority of the rewards are a little bit hidden. The good news is leakers found some rewards that are available in the files that are directly tied to this event, which include this brand new weapon camo. This one is for the trick or treat event. And it's probably going to be unlocked within like the last page. So maybe like page four, you'll be able to get it as one of the final ones. And this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, not animated, but it's definitely tied to this event as a reward you'll be able to unlock. There's also this animated camo that was added in season six that I noticed none of the other events had. So there is a possibility this event could potentially release this animated camo, but it sort of really doesn't fit the theme. So I'm going to put a big question mark on whether it's going to come in or not. Not too sure, but just wanted to show it just in case. But the most important reward that you're going to be able to get from this is going to be the Blood Red Riding Hood. This one's probably going to take you the most effort. You're going to have to collect the king size bars and they're probably not going to drop as easily. Last time around when we got the free operator skin with the dna strand event it took us around a month before you were able to get him but because season six is so short i'm hoping they make her available right away as a reward but this is the showcasing of the free operator skin that you'll be able to get available on all platforms so you don't have to worry about being on a particular game mode now you're probably wondering what is the quickest way that i can unlock this because if it's anything like some of the last events like the trophy hunt or the dna strand event this event is going to take you some time to complete and i'm pretty sure some people are still going to be trying to do it after black ops 6 launches so the fastest way that i have found was if you have multiplayer access jump into zombies these zombies whenever you eliminate them you can eliminate ais and they will actually drop you the candy and you'll be able to collect those at a much faster pace you can do the outlast contracts as you eliminate them candy will fall and you'll be able to run up and grab that and it'll be an unlimited amount of zombies and then sometimes they will make it to where like the dogs are the only ones that will drop a certain tree and you can use those outlast contracts and still spawn in an unlimited amount of hellhounds so that way you can continuously keep getting that candy and complete the event as fast as possible if you are on warzone i would recommend that you play longer modes the best mode is the current purgatory one that we have right now it's a mix of players as well as ai and they're consistently spawning in so you can always just run up eliminate them as fast as possible and then grab the candy if you plan on purchasing the sam operator skin this will also give you a hefty boost and make sure you just have the operator skin equipped so that way you get the benefit of that operator bundle Anyways, once the event officially goes live, we'll get a little bit of a better understanding on how the timing is set. So maybe every three days, they'll release a new piece of candy rather than having to wait an entire week for the next piece. Anyways, until this event goes live, I would highly recommend that you catch up on all your other past events. So the very first one, the purgatory one, make sure you guys complete that and get all the camera rewards for that. Make sure you complete the XP event for the haunting because once this event goes live, the next week after that will be another event that will go live and that will be a challenge based one. And you guys definitely want to complete these events as fast as possible because they're adding some of the best rewards we've gotten in mw3's life cycle but they're adding them at such a quick pace it may not even give you time to get all these rewards and then once they permanently leave you're never going to be able to unlock them again so just be sure you are caught up before this event goes live that's the whole point that i make these videos early anyways that's all that i got for you guys in this video the next one will cover the new weekly challenges and the aftermarket part and everything else about the update and then we're also going to talk a little bit about black ops 6 so if you do find the news informative don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out but it's been boy Trudeau, and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace